Hey guys, Richard at Riding Zim here, doing my latest Doctor Who review. This one for episode 4, Aliens of London from new series 1. So again, not in my usual room where I do these vids, so I'm in the uh, resort, the spa we're staying at in Norfolk right now. With my dog Albie, he's uh, coming here with nearly 10k of walking today, he's uh, pretty tired. Um, so yes, straight to it. So again, no real spoilers beyond this episode whatsoever. And all this part 1 of part 2, um, this is just part 1. So yeah, on to it. This is, I'm pretty sure, like I said in yesterday's review, this is the first time I've watched it since my rewatch 10 years ago. Now, it's not particularly a terrible episode. It's actually one of the better ones, and a lot, I found the series one, a lot of it holds up really well. Um, so let's get into that in a moment. So first of all, the basic plot. Uh, Doctor returns Rose back 12 hours after she left with him in episode one, but it's another to be 12 months, so Rose has been a missing person. Um, and then a spaceship crashes into the Thames, uh, destroys a big pen. <laughs> it doesn't. And then you've basically got these aliens that have also been infiltrated, they've been there for a while, and take over. So that's the plot, and it's a good episode. So it's good to see that, again, that how the TARDIS can get things wrong and how there are consequences. So I guess, you know, this aired in 05, it's, te it's te episode 1 technically was set in 04. I'm sure I never said that <laughs> until this episode. Uh, so it's good to see, like, the fallout of what happened. Obviously, Rose missing person, Mickey, the, the boyfriend, is the immediate prime suspect, his mum, again, like I said in this one, not a big fan of Jackie in series one, she's like absolutely leading the campaign against him, and to so Mickey's credit, he kept quiet this whole time about, you know, who, you know, she didn't know exactly, he didn't know where Rose had went with the Doctor, but she, he knew, you know, the Doctor wasn't a human, and that something had gone on, and he kept quiet, so yeah, good on him for it, you know, Noel Clark's a great actor, it's a real shame he won't be back in Doctor Who again, but yeah, he does a great job with that. Uh, what what he's what uh, he's he's got there and yeah he's a good character he, you know while Jackie is not one of my favourites he's one Mickey definitely was one of my favourites so yeah the Doctor obviously returns they really get away with it quite easily <laughs> very minor police investigation into the fact that Rose was just travelling for a year didn't even have a passport with her and somehow didn't think to contact her mum it I don't know it seems like the Doctor should be like reporting for questioning a lot um, a lot longer than like one brief chat with a like officer who's there. That, no, well, I guess it's a, a family show, it's not ultra realistic, and they wanted to ignore anything like that happening. But makes you wonder why they just simply set this in 05 and like the whole, like the first episode, and just, I don't know, she's gone for a couple of weeks or some, or even just a couple of days, something like that would have uh, worked. But no, I don't think it's a massive problem, really. So yeah, the other stuff that goes on. So you've got the doctor who claims he had no idea what's going on, actually enjoying it. They had to watch it on the news and um, you've got some you know good characters in there you've got this um asian woman look out for her in a different tv show when i get to that point one day i'll uh, bring up my theories about that and <clears throat> yeah so on to the uh main part really there's a lot to say but let's just get to important stuff the slidine right so they suck <laughs> they're interesting villains the fact they've been there this whole time and have like planned to basically take over britain uh, again, much more on this in part two. Good idea. Um, the designs aren't bad. Yeah, they look kind of lame. Uh, they did in 2005. <laughs> they didn't look great then. But the main issue is the bad, it, like, bad humour. You know, there's a lot of fart jokes. So people had to go at South Park for that in series one, but South Park knew it was deliberately doing that, and there were kids who'd be into that stuff. The Slovenian are just, like, doing a lot of Doctor Evil laughter, and, well, they're, like, revealing themselves because they're these green, like, rubbery aliens inside human skin. And there's the constant farting is terrible. Again, it's, uh, it's episode two confirms why they do it, but it's, oh, it just goes on and on. And you think, Jesus, just stop this. <laughs> it's not really, like, some episodes of series one are clearly aimed at very young viewers. Like, they do show up in the spin off, The Sergeant Adventures. I never actually saw the episodes are in, though, but you, you think, you know, Who's really laughing at this stuff? You know, they honestly think that like, kids are laughing their heads off. I mean, maybe they were, but surely not. I mean, I was 19 when the episode first aired, so a bit older than that episode title audience, but I still think it sucks. It kind of just takes away from a good one, particularly the ending when they just like kill this, uh, like one of the uh, PM's cabinet. It's quite, quite nasty. And again, they're good, good villains, you get good uh, motivations to be revealed in the next episode, but Jesus, the, it's just bad humour that's really not that funny. So yeah, the episode basically ends with the Doctor and a bunch of other experts, because he's been like taken in, Jackie has actually reported him to the police, uh, because of like the code red they got going, he basically gets taken into Downing Street, and it's just a plan to have all the alien experts murdered, 
And it basically ends with the Doctor being like, and this like name tag zapping him, Jackie, you know, the screamer um, about like, the MJ of Doctor Who, that is MJ the, from the Raimi trilogy, Spider-Man. Uh, her, basically the uh, ones that have been come, coming for her in her flat. And yeah, if you think what's going to happen next. Of course, it didn't help that they put like seconds into the credits what, some of what happens next over the next time, which I shouldn't have bothered with, but uh, no, that, that gets toned down later. So yeah, it's a good episode overall. Um, again, with these episodes, you kind of need to like review them both in part one and part two together. You know, Aliens of London and tomorrow's on World War Three. So eight World War Aliens, Alien, <laughs> Aliens of War, maybe. Yeah, I saw a website eight years ago which was yeah, abbreviated that put the two titles together to come up with a boy. Yeah, unique titles. Yeah, you know the full story, Aliens of War. Be a much better review. But yeah, this is part one. Um, set up a lot of good stuff, but a lot of bad stuff in the end. Yeah, again, I honestly can't see myself watching this. And if I do this again in 10 years, maybe, but I'll probably watch it till then. It's, it's not a bad episode, but it's not one I really want to go back to. So that is it, and I will see you next time for part two. So then, bye.